Hello and welcome back to this channel. Today's uh, session is solve examples on uniform plane waves. Dear students, if you have missed the earlier videos, do watch that video because it is related to the derivation of uniform plane waves. Presently, we are we will solve few numericals related to uniform plane waves. First question. An uniform plane wave propagates in free space. This is important thing. If it is a free space, do remember the values. Mu 0 is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7. Epsilon 0 is 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12. Its fields are, fields means E bar and H bar. These are the given equations or of E bar and H bar. One more important thing. There are three terms in case of wave. One is E bar, that is electric field. Another is H bar, that is magnetic field. Third is power, that is P bar. All the three terms are always and always perpendicular to each other. In the given question, this last term, it indicates AX bar. It represents direction of E bar. Then what about this Z? Do remember the basic things. In any equation, whatever term is there, which is getting multiplied with beta, beta is a phase shift. The term getting multiplied with beta represents the direction of power. So direction of power in the given question is along z, that is a z bar. Now, at the end of equation, whatever term is there, this is a x bar, that represents direction of e bar. So direction of e bar is a x bar. Similarly, in case of h bar, multiplying term with beta is z. So this is direction of power. At the end of h bar, we have the term a y bar. a y bar indicates the direction of h bar. And mathematically, if you want to prove, see, we know that e bar cross h bar is equal to power, that is p bar. So, if you put direction of e bar is a x bar, h bar is a y bar, then a x bar cross a y bar is equal to a z bar. These are the basic things related to these equations. Now, given equation, is e bar and h bar first part we have to calculate h zero and beta first we will calculate the value of beta now related to given term first write the standard equation how to write it you don't have to mug up it very simple trick whatever term whatever equation of e bar is given write it in the standard form like this e zero here given is 35, I am writing it as E0, then E raised to J omega T plus beta Z. Very simple, I have written the equation in the same format which is given in the question, but in terms of notations like E0 and E raised to J omega T plus beta Z. If you compare these two terms, we can easily say omega is equal to 10 raised to 8. Omega is angular frequency, 10 raised to 8. Now, I need to calculate beta. We know the formula. V is equals to omega upon beta. V is the velocity of propagation. Velocity of propagation is not given in the question. You don't have to calculate it because the condition is given. It is a free space and velocity of propagation for the free space is denoted by C. That is speed of light which is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second. So from this equation, I can write beta is equals to omega upon c or v whatever so value of omega is 10 raised to 8 upon 3 into 10 raised to 8 so it becomes 1 by 3 so answer of beta is 0.33 since beta is a phase shift its unit is radians this is the first part now I have calculated the value of beta which is 0.33 radians. These numericals are pretty simple. Just apply simple logic. What I did, I have written the equation in the standard form and just using this word free space, I have directly written the value of velocity of propagation using simple formula, I, I got the answer of beta. Next is, I need to calculate value of h0. So, for this, we need to use second parameter of uh, wave equation that is eta. Eta is called as intrinsic impedance or inherent impedance. If it is a free space value of eta is constant which is 377 ohm or 120 pi. Now basic formula of eta is E0 upon H0. From this I can write H0 is E0 upon eta. 
value of e0 is given in the question this 30 pi represents value of e0 so this becomes 30 pi upon 377 if you simply solve this on the calculator then this value of h0 will be equals to 0.25 it is h h is the magnetic field intensity so its unit is ampere per meter now let us solve few more numericals to get an idea about this concept next numerical is electric field in the free space is this is the given equation of electric field first part find direction of wave propagation second part find beta beta is a phase shift and time taken by wave to travel a distance lambda by 2 now first we will discuss the basic parts this well this is the given equation of e bar from the given equation we can directly write the value of e0 as 50 very simple constant term associated with the equation represents e0 cos 10 raised to 8t so it is basically omega t so i can write omega is equals to 10 raised to 8 plus beta x beta is a phase shift which is not given x bracket close and final direction is ay bar Similar to the first numerical, whatever final term is there, that represents direction of E bar. Then, what about this X? Again, whatever term is there, getting multiplied with phase shift beta, that notation represents the direction of motion of wave or direction of power. So, power or wave is along X direction, whereas E bar is along Y direction. Now, first part. What is asking in the first part? Find direction of wave propagation. Very simple. How to write this answer? You can write it like this. Since the phase shift is getting multiplied with x, direction of wave propagation is ax bar. Very simple. Second part. Find beta and the time taken of a wave to travel a distance lambda by 2. First, we will calculate the value of beta. Now, to calculate the value of beta, we have the formula beta is equals to omega under root of mu epsilon if it is a free space then simply i can write this as mu zero epsilon zero what about omega omega is available from the given equation it is 10 raised to 8 so if i will put the values i will get 10 raised to 8 under root of mu zero is permeability of free space whose value is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 into epsilon 0 is permittivity of free space 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12. If you solve this equation, then value of beta will be 0.33 radians. This is the answer of beta. Now, next part is, we have calculated beta. We have to calculate time taken by wave to travel a distance lambda by 2. Do remember, distance is not given directly. It is given as lambda by 2. That means, to get the knowledge of distance, I need to calculate value of lambda. Lambda is the wavelength. Basic formation of a lambda for the free space is, lambda is C by F. C is the speed of light. F is the frequency. How to get the value of F? We have the value of omega. Omega is 10 raised to 8. How we got it? From the given equation. And we know the basic equation. Omega is 2 pi F. Therefore, F can be written as 10 raised to 8 upon 2 pi. That is omega upon 2 pi. That means 10 raised to 8 upon 2 pi. So, if you put these values, then lambda will be 3 into 10 raised to 8 upon this value of F 10 raised to 8 by 2 pi. If you solve this, you will get answer of lambda is equals to 18.89. Lambda is a wavelength which is basically distance, so its unit is meters. Now, given distance is lambda by 2. Therefore, I will write it like this. Distance is equals to lambda by 2, which is equals to this thing. 18.89 divided by 2. So, it is 9.42 meters. Now, we have calculated the value of distance but what is as we have to calculate value of time taken by the wave see it is a free space so basic formula i will write velocity is equals to distance divided by time this is the basic formula velocity is the speed of light 
Why? Because it is a free space. It is mentioned in the question. If suppose, another variation, if suppose free space is not mentioned, then in place of mu zero and epsilon zero, we would have simply written mu epsilon and mu is mu zero mu r, epsilon is epsilon zero epsilon r. In that case, values of mu r and epsilon r will be given. So beta will be different. You need to calculate velocity of propagation v using v is equal to under root of mu by epsilon. And then we have to make use of this formula. But presently, it is a free space. So I know the velocity of free space is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second. What I need, I want the value of time. So from this, I will write it like this. Time is equal to distance upon speed of light. That is 3 into 10 raised to 8. Distance means just now we have calculated. It is 9.42 upon 3 into 10 raised to 8. If you solve this, the answer of time will be 0.314 nanoseconds. That is 10 raised to minus 9 seconds. So this is one more variation of the numerical. Let us solve some different uh, type of numerical related to uniform plane wave. The next problem is a 10 gigahertz plane wave traveling in free space. Again, the medium is free space has amplitude EX. EX is amplitude. It can be well denoted by E0. Since it is amplitude of E bar, which is 10 unit is holds per meter because unit of E bar is holds per meter. Find V. Velocity of propagation, lambda, wavelength, beta, phase shift, eta, intrinsic impedance, and H0. H0 is amplitude of magnetic field. Now, very simple trick. This is the given value of frequency because unit is gigahertz. So, it is 10 gigahertz. That is, uh, I will write it like this, 10 gigahertz, which is 10 into 10 raised to 9 hertz. Now, first part, it is asked to calculate velocity of propagation. We know that in case of a free space, velocity of propagation is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second. But we need to show this calculation. So the formula is 1 upon under root of mu epsilon. Since it is a free space, it is mu 0 epsilon 0. Simply put the values of mu 0 and epsilon 0. Just now we discussed those values. So it is mu 0 is 4.2 10 raised to minus 7. Epsilon 0 is 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12. If you simplify this, this answer will be 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second. This is the value of velocity of propagation. That is first part. Second is lambda. Since it is a free space, we can easily calculate the lambda using the formula lambda is C by F. Basic equation of a wavelength. C is the speed of light. F is the frequency. Frequency is given in the question. So it is 3 into 10 raised to 8 upon value of frequency that is 10 into 10 raised to 9. So if you solve this, you will get this answer as 3 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters. It is a wavelength. So it is measured in meters. Next is beta. See, we have one formula of beta is omega under root of mu 0 epsilon 0 for the free space. If it is not the free space, simply it is mu epsilon and mu is mu zero mu r. Epsilon is epsilon zero epsilon r. But it is a free space. We can write it as mu zero epsilon zero. But value of omega need to be calculated. Or in case of a free space, make use of a simple formula. Beta is 2 pi by upon lambda. Any formula will do. We have just now calculated the value of lambda. If you put the values, this answer of beta will be 209. 4, 4, and its unit is radians. So I have made use of this formula to pi upon lambda. Next is eta. Eta is intrinsic impedance. Basic equation or basic formula of eta intrinsic impedance is mu by epsilon. Mu is mu zero mu r. Epsilon is epsilon zero epsilon r. But it is a free space, so it is mu zero upon epsilon zero. Simply put the values. So mu 0 is 4.2 to 10 raised to minus 7 upon epsilon 0 is 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12. If you solve this, this answer is 377 ohms. This is the intrinsic impedance of the free space. Now last part is H0. H0 is amplitude of H bar. We know the basic relation. Eta can be expressed as E0 upon H0. Therefore, H0 is equal to E0 upon eta. E0 is given in the question, which is same as EX. So it is 10 upon 377. If you solve this, 
value of h0 will be 0 0.0265 since it is h0 that is amplitude of magnetic field its unit is ampere per meter so this is the last part of this numerical so that's it for today's session dear students i have selected the numerical in such a way that you will get an entire idea how to solve uh, problems related to the uniform plane waves so thanks for watching this video thank you very much